Mitchell, he's a biter. Don't get upset with mum. It's really hard to pick him up and cuddle him when he is leaving bruises all over you because he, he just <laughs> he just bites and he takes way too much advantage of his tiger. He's taken the stuffing almost out of him from how much he bites. <laughs> He's just adorable. I, I can't speak highly enough of him. I am Anita and this is Mitchell's story for GeoBeats. Every time I gave him a bottle, he would always be holding my hand. And then once he finished the bottle, he would lay his head back and tuck it under my neck and he would just kind of give me kisses while he was in a milk coma. He was found near his dead mother, emaciated and very smelly. That's mama's boy. Mm -hmm. He was brought in and treated for ticks and rehydrated. When he came into care, he was four to five months and he is now a year and 11 months. He's a live wire. He is just full of energy. Excuse me, Mitchell, what are you doing? He loves to play. Hey, baby. He will always check to see where I am and he will follow me. Mitchell loves corn on the cob. He will demolish it like you wouldn't believe. He really loves branches, like biting into them and taking out chunks. I've had to wear knee-high boots. He just wants to bite and play because in the wild, that's what he would be doing with his mum. And obviously they have harder skin than I do. Even though he bites, I would prefer to stand there and him bite me and give him the love that he needs. He is just adorable. He loves his toys and they're kind of a bit of lifesaver for me because if he wasn't doing that to the toys, he tends to try and do it to my legs. After he's bitten him, he kind of cuddles him into his belly and sort of just lays there snuggling him for a while. He's almost getting ready for release. He's been outside in his enclosure for probably eight months now. It's winter here. Are you hiding? He knows how to make himself warm. He drags in leaves and straw into his little burrow. We're going through the stage of where I have no contact with him so that he can detach from me, who he sees as his mum, and he becomes sort of a bit more solitary. You just see them sort of transforming back into who they should be, which is wild, happy wombats. He'll start to bite a little bit more aggressively, and this is all in preparation for his release because when he goes back to the wild, I want him to be confident. I will definitely cry on the day because he just means that much to me. My little boy. 